The wooden spoon's not doing a huge amount of business, Bert. Is that not of interest at all? I see. The spoon's not bad, is it? Can be be persuaded with the spoon. Got nothing to stir though, mate. You need a nice hot cup of tea. Not me. That's what you need. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's it's the spoon is fine, but it's not packing scrap. I get you. I get you. And it's on the floor again. <laughs> I mean, have you got a plan? If you do have a plan, do do share it with us. Don't you know, don't hold back. If you've got a plan, tell us. Also, if you've just been a derp, tell us. You know. There was a little disturbance there. There was a little disturbance in, in the force. We had a little left. But um, I think we're okay now. It seems we have randomly, after a couple of minutes of streaming, Twitch just goes, you know what, I don't care for this. And just just stops. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't say no to a, um, to a plan. Plan of any type, really. It's just somebody, somebody for God's sake, make a plan. There we are, now we're back in business, now we're back. Look at the size of that wood pigeon that I've just get off. Don't. I've just, that size of that wood pigeon that I've just terrified with, a, with, the, with the brightest coat in town. Shout out to Dame Hart, yeah, if they're on the board. Hey, yeah, we hope you're okay, buddy. Oh, Biffs, yes, I know. Oh, now you've dropped it. Now you've properly dropped it. Look at this face, look at this face. This is the face that has had this happen. That there is the packing strap. No longer inside the aviary. Because someone put it through the holes and then let go of it. That's it. Eat to get over it, bird. That's the that's that's that that's a good coping mechanism. Oh, it's always done me proud. Just a momentary setback in life. Start eating. <laughs> it's always it's always sorted me out. Cam's is getting frisky in the cat here. I think it is a little bit too early for for Nest Fest. Um. You will be able to tell when Nest Fest starts. You will be, you will 100% be able to tell once Nest Fest begins. Hello, hey, chum, come on in, come on in, get warm. At least try to get warm anyway. Yeah, okay, now you're just being daft now. Look, that piece of cuttlefish there is empty. Yeah, that piece of cuttlefish that you're pecking crap out of is empty. That's why there's a whole new one, which you are also pecking crap out of here. Hello, hi. What do you think, bird? Let me take that off you, because it's all used up and you're just, you're just biffing yourself raw with that. I would like warm. I would like warm. It's just, one of those days, it's just like, it's not, objectively, it's not cold. It's like seven degrees or something, but it feels colder because it's wet, you know, because it's damp. Just, I don't know, just to me, it just feels colder. And I, 
have drank a considerable amount of tea today. It's like a Friday coping mechanism. Forecast sleet. Oh, lovely. Sleet's the best. Sleet when you can't make up your mind whether you're raining or snowing. And you kind of want to do both. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to... Hmm. I haven't got quite enough snow, so I'm going to water it down and make it really miserable. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, of course, you'll move on Monday. Oh yeah, that's it. What is that? Is that a bit of crack or something? Oh, it's getting dunked, whatever it is. Yeah, sleet is the worst of everything, isn't it? It's just like, ugh, bleh. I've got some weather for you. Preceded the house with the kettle. Very correct. That is very correct of you. That is the way to do it. Forget, forget um, towels. A hoopty fruit always knows where his kettle is. Wow, what's going on over here? What spiciness is this? Uh, I see. Oh, freezing sleet. Oh, that sounds delightful. Oh no, pigeon, you don't get me like that. You know, I just realized I'm standing directly underneath a pigeon. No, I ain't going down like that. Not twice anyway. There's wilds as well, bird. I can hear wilds. Yeah. I see what's happening here. You've dropped the dunk. Right. I can see what's happening here. You have you have misdunked. <laughs> Moderate macro. Little bit of macro. Look, just put your head in there and get it. Yeah, like that. Not like that. Like that. There you go. <laughs> and you throw it on the floor. Oh, bird. Oh, bird. You're like, someone made an idiot out of lots of little idiots. Magpie. Look, hang on. Let me hold it. That way you can biff it easier. Something, something in my pocket has just gone crunch. <laughs> hey, hey, hi. <laughs> It goes well. It goes well. And the fact it's freezing and um, and everyone's favourite magpies having a bit of a derp. Um, right, there you go. Now you're getting it, look. I hold it, you biff it. That's, that's it, that's it. There you go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Also, you're a massive derp. I have got to put some moisturiser on my hands. My thumbs are peeling. I've got hangnails all over the place. And I hate it. Also, I find myself unable to stop picking at them. I get nervous and bored, and I end up picking at my thumbs. I've got to stop doing it. Ow! That was quite a big one, right near my finger. You know, my finger. Yeah, fingertip. I don't need all my fingertips. You know. Just gonna space that out, just a tiny bit. Just gonna, yeah, there we go. Ooh, I mean, I trust you, but. She's giving it twisty as well now. Oh, that is very close to my fingertip. Yeah, it's rubbish and it makes you skin really sore and that just makes makes you want to itch you know, like pick at it more and it's just, uh, stop doing that you are a grown up stop picking it yourself I mean look but I do trust you but you know Might sting a bit. 
I have got some good hand cream in the house, but um, I just have to remember to put it on. Because when, once I put it on, I can't type anything for like a couple of minutes. <laughs> just, I'm just going to type on my big expensive Dell XPS <laughs> that my employer gave me. Oh wait, I can't because it's completely jammed full of hand cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The stakes have never been higher. That is oh, okay. Oh, ow, okay, yeah, that, that one was quite big. That one was unnecessary. Yeah. That that last biff was a little bit more than we needed. We're being extra now. It's a table. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, plonk it on before we go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ta, cheers, gang. I will, I will do that. And I will have a Google of urea carbamide. In spite of the fact it sounds like urea makes me think of we. <laughs> You're being foolishly blamed. Well, look, I trust Sophie, but, you know, she's only got a slip and she's in my fingertip. So um, I'm a little bit... I'm a little... I'm a little bit nervy. I'll I'll level with you. Right, maybe offer it my thumbnail instead of my actual flesh of my thumb. That's that's what they call me. <laughs> okay, there you go. Right. Okay. Oh, it's all gunky in my fingernails now. Don't you gross. Oh, see, now she stashes it. Now she stashes it responsibly. Right, okay. But it's the cops. We want to talk about an attempted murder. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Poo head. <laughs> Hello, Poo head. <laughs> what are you doing? What's this? She's a bird. Call me Mid Jenny because I'm on the land. Hey, bird, what's this? Oh, come on, bird. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you doing it? Wait for you to poo? Yeah, very nice, thank you. You gave me plenty of warning there and I appreciate you for that. See, now she's cleaning her beak. Now she's wiping all of the. <laughs> Now she's wiping all of the gammy, like, chewy calcium stuff off her face. You've got quite a lot of them. Hmm? Dignified. King of the jungle and all that, eh, bird? You should, yeah, do not use Norton products. In spite of the fact that they, obje they have been objectively trash for years. Um, yeah, do not use Norton products. <laughs> what? Right, if you have if you have Windows ten or eleven, you already have a perfectly good antivirus software. You do not need to buy any antivirus software. Um, Didn't just trip over the bath. Everything is fine. Yeah, Defender is great. Yeah. Yeah. Norton has been at the bottom of the pile for ages. It's purely name recognition that means Norton is still a thing. But yeah, they've embedded a bit mining, um, bit, Bitcoin mining software in their antivirus products and they skim off a little bit of any money that yours um that your computer calculates they skim a little bit off so they make out that they're keeping your bitcoin safe and all of that sort of stuff but yeah they're installing this crypto miner thing get it binned get it binned as soon as you can um if you ask microsoft they will let you download a virus scanner for free if you use windows if you're lucky enough to use Windows. <laughs> but what's this? 
What shape is this? Totally, I've had it. I've had it with crypto and NFTs. No, that used to be a spider, but I don't think it is anymore. Yeah, yeah, that was it, wasn't it last year? Bitcoin used generated as much carbon as Argentina. And also, I am very tired with scrolling through um, OpenSea to check that no one's no one's made an NFT picture of Sophie. I have, I, I, I do that pretty much every night. Um, OpenSea is objectively trash, and um, what are we doing? And yeah, the search facility is rubbish, and yeah, just. I explained it to the female because she hadn't heard of it because she doesn't she doesn't roll in that sort of area of the internet. When I I explained it to her, it you could there was a point where she visibly broke. There was there was a point where she just went, "What is this idiotic crap you're telling me about?" It's just like, "Well, and the blockchain because the pictures and the apes and the and the thing." And she was just like, "I don't think I need to hear any more about this. This is really depressing me." <laughs> And I, I told her the Argentina fact, and she's like, well, okay, I'm done now. Don't ever talk to me about this again. <laughs> but yeah, I do, um, the last couple of, like last week or so, I've started going through OpenSea to make sure that nobody's taken a picture of Sophie and is using it for an NFT. And um, yeah, I've seen some crap. That is, um, female does make well other than other than shacking up with me um she does make some pretty good um yeah like a friend of ours has already had some of her work um yeah well, you wouldn't download a car so well i would download a car that's a problem if i could download a car i 100 percent would what are you dense cars are expensive <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, as I say, we've already had a friend of ours who's, a, who's an artist commercially um, had her work stolen and used as NFTs. And it's pants. I think if it's... The good thing is, with, um, with that, is if you do have any of your artwork stolen and it ends up on OpenSea, um, instead of filing a complaint with OpenSea, if you file a complaint directly with Google, it, it disappears from OpenSea. Because they host all of their pictures they host all of their pictures on a Google Cloud instance. So the easiest way is just to file a copyright claim against Google and just don't even bother talking to OpenSea. Frankly, their broken database is not your responsibility. OpenSea is quite on the nose of that. It is, isn't it? It's almost like they knew. It's almost like calling your product like pirate bay or something isn't it it's just like you absolutely understand what your product's going to be used for open sea just get in it yeah just become inside let me help you get into the sea over here this fits particularly deep and cold <laughs> yeah and that thing about them empowering artists and stuff is absolute crap they're just looking to cash out in a highly scumbagular manner. Ah, yeah, bird. Why must you flip it everywhere? Why do that? Like that? Yeah. Why do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. female spice hang on what are we doing it's okay the bin men have been you don't have to worry about the bin men I said, okay, quick poo. Yeah, nice one. yeah absolutely the furries and the anthros would be all over it if it was if it was any good i i read a thing i think it was cory doctorow wrote an article that said exactly that you can tell because the the 
the furries aren't, aren't, aren't using it. If all, if all like your other kin, kins and your furries and your anthros and stuff aren't into it, it's a trash idea. 100%. That was quite a big one. <laughs> yeah, I I know what you mean about the Pirate Bay. I've I've used it to get the odd like thirty year old video game and that kind of thing, and it's tremendous because it probably is the only place online that I could realistically go and get a you know obscure MSX game or something like that. You know it's fantastic I also don't use it for anything else like Star Trek or anything like that because that would be illegal and completely amoral and I don't do that buy more commissions yeah get commission your friendly artists artists whose work you dig commission them what's this are we are we considering leg it does still exist yeah you have to jump I've been told you have to jump through a few, a few hoops to get to it. Yeah, tons of old games on, 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 on the internet archive, ar archive. Very good. I got my, um, I got the System 7, my, my Mac System 7 disc images that I'm using on my old Mac. I got them from, from the internet archive. See if I can, yeah, yeah, absolutely, 100%. Um, you have to do a bunch of things to reach the pirate bay none of them particularly nefarious but you i gather you have to run a vpn and make your make your endpoint somewhere somewhere that's not in europe um they tell me i've been uh, so i've so i've read <laughs> do you reckon bird RPG, I'm not, I'm not aware of that. Is that like the old newsgroup aggregators and things? Because that was, that was a hell of a time to be, be on the internet. Like alt dot binaries dot, you know, Atari dot two six hundred and that kind of thing. Yeah, what a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, a friend told me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You make a big old dent in that cuttlefish bird. It's a good job there's some more coming this afternoon. Because that's the last bit. I mean, no pressure or anything, but you know, if you can make that, that huge chunk of cuttlefish last 12 hours, that would be, that would be fine. Well, this piece of cuttlefish that I have in my pocket, ah, that was the thing that snapped. Thank God for that. Um, this piece of cuttlefish lasted just just under 20 hours. I left it here in the morning of Thursday. No, Wednesday morning, I left it out. And um, it gone. It gone. Um, that is about a day's worth of cuttlefish. Maybe that will make it to tomorrow, but probably not, not in any recognisable form. It depends if she gets into a thing. If she, if she gets into like a little groove with a cuttlefish, then it goes quicker. Isn't it? If you get hankering. Oh no, not a week, definitely not. Yeah, you might get a couple of days out of a piece of cuttlefish, but if she gets into, if, if she has a couple of pecks and then goes, yes, mate, this is exactly what I want. She'll just destroy it. She'll just, she'll just eat it. Which is quite good because it means they they tend not to hang around long enough to get get gross. I don't know. Eat chip, yeah. Eat more chips. Uh, <laughs> there, there always used to be a um, potato farmer around here that um, had one of his big trucks and it just had eat more chips on the side of the truck, just like. I endorse this message. I endorse this message very strongly. Eat more chips. <laughs> but come on, bird. Should we have? Should we try for a crouch cam? You might be a bit spicy for crouch cam. 
Yeah, I was like that with peanuts, but I try, I try to get off them because there's a ton of salt on peanuts. At least on the, the peanuts I was eating. <laughs> yeah. Empty the freezer mode. Yeah, yeah. That's actually quite a chill hang, that though. Just opening the freezer and just going, I can have that. Yes, yes. I was really disappointed. We used to buy these really nice frozen breakfast burritos, like these vegan frozen breakfast burritos, which were very edible. But unfortunately, they've been discontinued now. And I, I am considering a black armband and a, you know, a small service somewhere, a local pub. What do you think? A little bit of crouch cam. I've got a leaf. Are you interested in this? You were just now. There we are. Woo! Hang on. Bird. 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 I can kiss you now because I've got my nose wipes inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah moment of silence, please, for the for the our fallen our fallen burrito brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want no, no, it doesn't go in there. It doesn't go in there. I, uh, I appreciate the thought and everything, but it does not go in there. Yeah, it was like some vegan, I want to say like James Kitchen or something, but I think that might be a cat food brand. It was like this vegan um, thing. And um, they were really nice. I mean, they, they, were, they were cheap and perfectly fine. You know what I mean? They were that sort of thing. I mean, like a frozen burrito is going to be... Yeah, this would, yeah, I just not go in there. Thank you. I just, um, very disappointing. I was very disappointed when I, when we did the order with the retros. Now, oh, that product's been discontinued. <laughs> Bums! <laughs> oh no, your mum's a hoarder. As a hoarder myself, I can sympathise with having to deal with someone else's hoarding. I don't hoard food, but I hoard junk. And I realise that that is a failing. It's, it is a problem that I have. Um, I mean, I'm smiling because I'm glossing over it, but I genuinely accept that it is a problem. Um, and if I, if I were to get hit by a bus tomorrow or something, A, lots of people would go, Oh, Bowdy actually went somewhere there were buses. He went outdoors. Wasn't expecting that. But also, some poor sod would have to go through my collection of junk and I, they would have my sympathy because that would be not, not a fun thing. Meanwhile, what's this? See, the moment we turn the camera on to you, the spice levels rot you. Hmm? Yeah. I mean, can you can you eat any of the scraps? Are they are are the scraps like realistically edible or something, or are they just like half a bag of turmeric or something like that that they've just put in there? Because suddenly the apocalypse comes. Mm. We can joke, but that might be any time, right in it. <laughs> you know, you know, that may well be, you know, for all we know, that might be tomorrow. <laughs> then who's laughing? Bird, what's this? In the Z room. Are you going to settle so I can do the end card? Come on, buddy. Yeah. I read a thing um, a couple of days. Next Tuesday. Yeah, that tracks. That tracks. Um, the you know the this can we all retire the phrase i you know um what's the thing i'd avoid it like the plague can we all retire that phrase please because we've already seen that quite a lot of people in in the population don't avoid actual plagues so maybe should maybe it's time for that phrase to yeah maybe it's time for that phrase to go away because <laughs> you know just Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. But hey, look, today is Friday. Today is Friday. It doesn't feel particularly Friday-like to me, but it, by gum, my computer tells me it's Friday. So I'm inclined to believe it because the computer knows everything. Um, so I suggest 
what we do is I get some lunch and return to work for like three hours and then um, then it's officially the weekend you are the furthest point away you'll be from more work which is you know the sweet spot but but you're gonna be you're gonna stand still for a minute so I can do the end card I thought it was Saturday <laughs> bonus Saturday hey bonus Saturday Oh, you're, you're always welcome, chum. You're always welcome. Do whatever we can to help. Right, come on, she's standing still at such... Oh. Stand still. Stand still, please, I've got money. Right, okay. Right, gang, i got to go. Thanks for... Oh, is this some sort of... Some sort of elaborate joke, what you're doing? If you've just stumbled across us on Twitch and you'd like to follow Sophie on Twitter, her Twitter handle is at Bree Sophie Bree. And there is also a... Oh, hang on. I'm pretty Sophie Bree. Or if you prefer, you can go to sophiethemagpie.com where there are links to her Twitter, her Twitch, although you already know that, and her Discord. If you want more bird-related chat and recipes and crafts and all sorts of scum fu- scum stuff. <laughs> See, that was me reading the word scum and saying it out loud. How dangerous is that? <laughs> and more stuff. You can join it. Oh, look, I just... I'm, 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 I'm going to go. <laughs> Right, cheers everybody. We'll see you for some popcorn and a full-size brewcast tomorrow. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.